99 out the first part tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to my match for you for Aberdeen vs Motherwell. Honestly, I do not know what to expect from this game. Both sides have had quite a turbulent start to the season. Aberdeen's just on 5 points, we're on 4 after 5 games. Honestly, I'm not really sure how I'm going to call this game. However, we'll start with the basics. Uh, the team I would start with, well, I'm assuming Carson's going to be out, even though he's not severely damaged after that big Brutes 50-50 challenge uh, last Saturday against Uche Ekpiazu. I'm only kidding, I don't hate him that much. It's just if he scores this Wednesday coming, I will not be able to bear it. Anyway, that's another game, but this game at Pataudry, potentially it's already a six-pointer. I didn't know if that was even possible after six games, but aye, here we are. Anyway, we'll go with a back five. I mean, Chris Cadden's untouchable, so he'll be starting at right wing back. Back three of Tom Aldred, Peter Hartley and Carl McHugh. Left wing back, Richard Tate. Then three centre mids of Andy Rose, Alan Campbell and Gail Biggeremana with up front. Hear me out on this one. I'm going to go with Danny Johnson and Ryan Bowman up front. The old Gates head uh, strike partnership. I think I think uh, those two up front could really work. I think we should bench Curtis Main. I, I mean, of course, he's played all right this season, but he's not got any goals apart from that one at Clyde. Anyway, that's my starting lineup. How do I feel the game's going to go? I have no, I have no idea. I think it could be an interesting two each draw. Anyway, now I'm going to read some of your thoughts ahead of the game. Honestly, I've, I've still no idea what to expect. Campbell Tuff says, need to take advantage of Aberdeen's recent form. However, we'll still take a point. Always a tough place to go. Well, we've only won there once since Craig Reed Day, so of course it's a tough place to go. Del Somerville says, Aberdeen haven't been great, sitting only one point ahead of us, absolutely no fears of them whatsoever. Fully expect Sir Stephen Robinson to pick a team that leads us to victory. I like the sound of that. William Jeffrey says, I would get nine players to dress up as sheep except Curtis Main and Danny Johnson. All the Aberdeen players will be too busy trying to shag those nine players. It will free up our two strikers. Easy 6-0 to the well. How long did you take to construct that sentence? Robbie Miller says, Pataudry is always a hard place to go. If Carson is available, I would still rest him. I completely agree. And give Gillespie a good run it. I mean, I don't have any problems with Gillespie. I thought he was quite comfortable when he had to step in for Carson in pre-season. And I'm completely 100% faithful in Mark Gillespie. I mean, after seeing him play on Saturday, he kept a clean sheet. And... He's got a really good kick, and also he's good with handling, so yeah, I think those are the three aspects of uh, a good goalkeeper, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, back to Robbie's wee message. It's always going to be a tough game, but I believe we could grab a 1-0 win. This is the team I would go with, and he's gone with uh, Rodriguez Gordon in centre mid instead of Rose, and main up top, and that, that certainly changes his mind to my team. And the last comment of this week's instalment, uh, Murray Bowman says, No reason why we should fear going there, but as any other week, we need to turn up, do that, and we can come away with three points. And I, I completely agree. I, I mean, I think this is the most vulnerable Aberdeen team, uh, dare I say it, uh, in at least a good three or four years. Uh, they've gone a wee bit off the boil. I'm not, I'm not saying anything to try and tempt fate or anything like that. Honestly, I think we can take something from Aberdeen, and if we do, it's gonna be legendary. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. As for my Brian McLean interview, it's still under construction. Uh, as for the Aberdeen v Mother vlog, I'm not gonna be home till probably mid Sunday, so it'll pro probably be off about Monday after Aberdeen away. Just like last year, after one of the best away days of my life, if not the best, behind trips to Hamden and stuff like that, because last year when we went up to Pataudry 1-2-0, it was the best team performance I've ever seen from Motherwell, because, oh, it was just marvellous. It was also Louis Moult's last two goals from Motherwell. But yeah, it was such a great night out. It was Aberdeen away last year, the 2-0 game anyway, is up there with the top five days of my life so if we can 
replicate that, then I'll I'll settle for it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed this video and take care.